Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be testing out the new hairstyles you're allowed to have in the army as a female. So last week the British army changed their policy on the hair you can have as a male and as a female. Essentially as a female you can now have ponytails, plaits as well as your buns. You can do cornrows, twists and locks too. Men can also have the twist cornrows and locks providing they are off the collar and off the face. So that's a really exciting new policy that the army has introduced making the army much more modern it also makes life easier especially as a female in the army for day-to-day -day life even though this policy has been out for about a week I haven't had the chance to like try and demo the new hairstyles yet so that's what I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna be going through the plaits the ponytail and then obviously the bun and just testing like which ones I prefer because obviously you still have to have the bun for ceremonial duties so that's the ceremonial stuff is all gonna be the same as it was and obviously ceremonial is when you wear like your number one or number two dress I'll put examples here so I still need to be good at doing in the bun. Do you know what? I just had the brain wave as well to grab my beret because I'm thinking some of these I think might not look right with a beret as in I don't think I'll like it with the beret on so I've got my beret to test. So the first one I'm going to do is the bun. So the way I like to do the bun is I like to use two really thick bobbles in like a dark colour. I find the thicker they are the more they hold and they are less likely to snap. And then I also have like a brown hairnet that I put over um, just to keep any flyaways in. And because I have layers in my hair, it means sometimes little bits can stick out when you're at the back. So that just whew, keeps it all in. <laughs> and then because I also have layers around the face or if you have a fringe or anything like that, you've got to clip it all back. So I tend to use like bobby pins like this. Everything I use is pretty much is black. Uh, it has to be neutral colors and obviously your hair has to be a neutral color anyway to be in the army. Uh, I find these hurt less when they're in all day and you can like cross them over to like really secure them in when you're doing PT and stuff like that. But I also quite like the, the clips. I'll put my screen a picture because I'm not gonna be able to describe it. The ones that go clip in, clip down. I like them. I think they're easier to put in and you have less of a fear that they're gonna fall out because I don't know why, these have never fallen out but I always think they're gonna fall out. So yeah, I also like those other clips but sometimes they dig in your head a little bit. Anyway, enough talking, let me show you how I do the bun. Let me try and turn around to give you the best angle of how I do the bun. <laughs> I grab my hair into a low ponytail. I then twist it around my right hand so it's like taut and then feed that into kind of like a donutty shape. Wrap the bobble around it and hope for the best. And then as you can see, little bits can flick out and then that's where the net comes in. So I pretty much just grab the net over top and kind of pinch it at the bottom, feeling to make sure I've got everything, which I don't have a mirror, but I'm just gonna hope that I do. And then get my other bobble and just kind of loosely wrap that round, which will then hold the net in place. That's pretty much the bun done. It literally takes two seconds. And then I take my grips for like these bits that fall out because obviously you can't have anything on your ears or on your face. So then I just clip these in. The only downsides I feel to the bun is that it can feel super tight. So I have to sort of go around and like pull it out. <laughs> you can also do the bun with a donut, but my hair is long enough sort of to do it, but I don't really have the skill to be like buffing it, putting it over the donut and then flicking it through. I think if I was to do ceremonial stuff, then obviously I would put the donut on because it does look better than like the bun. So obviously this at the back, that's pretty much how it looks. Whereas a donut, I'll put it on screen what that bun looks like. It, it just looks more like profesh. Um, but for everyday duties and work duties, which is what these hairstyles in the new policy update are for, like this is fine. So then with the beret on, I feel like it's almost out of shape because I haven't worn it in a long time. Barely wearing my uh, beret these days because whenever I go battalion or company or whatever, I don't know, I'm just not wearing it. It feels like I need to reshape it. So I overlook that for this video. And then with the beret, that's pretty much how it looks. I am actually quite fond of the bun. I think it looks the smartest, let's say, because I have a feeling that the ponytail and the plait will look a bit weird with the beret, but let's find out. So ponytail, hairstyle two. I mean, this is, to be honest, the easiest one. I can't believe this is really tutorial because it's not. We all know how to do a ponytail, like, come on. I guess as well with any of these hairstyles, you could use hairspray, but I personally just don't because I don't feel like you need to if you have grips in there. But I think if you have a lot of flyaway hair or just generally like a lot of layers, then perhaps hairspray or like a gel or a mousse that just <laughs> slicks it all back would be beneficial for you. Do you know what? Do you know what? I take it back about the ponytail. I like it. I think it looks better. It feels better. 
even though when you walk down the barrack corridors it's going to be swish 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 that's the only thing i don't like about it obviously the front it looks no different it's the back what do we think do you think that looks weird let me just move my chair okay imagine it's imagine the walk i think it's the walk when you walk with the beret on and all of that but i don't think i'm gonna like that with the when i look it back in the edit you tell me, what do you think of the ponytail? I think it's a bit more feminine. Jury's still out, I think I might have to demo it when I'm at Battalion X. The only downside, I think, to a ponytail is that if you are on exercise or you are in the field, it's just gonna get so matted up. Like, even when I go for a run in the rain here, my <laughs> ponytail would get, like, frizzy and, like, matted up. So you can only imagine if you're in the field, no showers, or you're on exercise or whatever, where it's gonna be honking, it really is. And I'm probably gonna have to shave it off rather than get a brush through it. So I feel like ponytail is strictly for me battalion only like it's not going to be an in the field job although it would sit a lot easier with the helmets like it would make the helmet situation a lot easier hey hey that's where the plaque comes in so we're going to do hairstyle three which is this is one i'm going to struggle with because oh my god i have not done a plaque since primary school but i feel like i need to watch a tutorial just to be able to memorize how to do a plaque I'm struggling already i want that to be known this is not my specialty it's too difficult <laughs> i need practice <laughs> do you know what i think the only way i'm going to be actually be able to do this is if i tie it first <laughs> Why is this challenging? This shouldn't be this hard. Okay, that was traumatizing, just to be able to do this hairstyle. I think this definitely needs practice. Watch it be really uneven, I'm probably gonna get in the edit and be like horrified with the plaiting skills. Whatever. Do you know what? Like this would be my like chosen style if I was wearing a helmet and I was in the field, which I will be doing in a few weeks time. So I definitely need to practice this a lot more. It's the, uh, I think this looks tidier and smarter than the ponytail and obviously it's going to be less likely if you did get it really tight it's going to be less likely to get all messed up when you do pt and in the field and stuff like that okay so from ponytail as in i've tied it into a ponytail i want to try the plait again oh yeah that's so much easier <laughs> okay that took like no time at all so much better i don't know if you agree but so much better and it's less swishy i like that it's very thick i also missed a little bit at the top but that's fine <laughs> let me take this plait out before my hair curls that's the other thing imagine you uh you can't exercise and you're like oh locks heatless curls but yeah that's the three hairstyles that i'm gonna try today in this video obviously you can also have the cornrows twists and locks yeah there's actually a real good multitude of hairstyles that you can have now which is just brilliant and as i said like when you're in the field and stuff like that having a plateau or a ponytail make the helmet a lot easier to wear and just generally like when you're on camp it's just nice actually to have a bit of variety in the way that we can look every day and then i know the whole point of an army is to be <laughs> uniform but it's nice to be able to have a little bit of individuality while still being within the constraints of the regulations of the army so i'm actually going to be really intrigued to see See the women of my regiment and see like what hairstyles they opt for now that we can have multiple options so that was me testing the new female british army hairstyles that you can have under the new policy update obviously there's a few more that women and men can also do and obviously men can have beards and mustaches now uh, if they get their commanding officers permission which is step in the direction for men who want a beard i actually really enjoyed making this video and i can't wait to get in the edit and see what these hairstyles actually look like from the back and uh time myself of how long it took me to do each one so then i can get an idea of which ones are going to be the most feasible for like different stages of whether it's just like a day working at a battalion or like in the field or on exercise things like that so thanks for watching this video i will see you guys in the next one i'll see you guys next time bye